Um, yesterday we uh, we have seen this building this uh, HA half adder. Uh, in this we have discussed uh, about um, this half adder, like how we uh, describe that. I mean, model that. That is what technically we are calling it as modeling. So that modeling is done through. Uh, gate level modeling yesterday i discussed there are several uh, level of uh, modelings so we are doing it uh, through uh, that gate level so this one okay yes is, uh, okay. So in that, uh, in in the uh, you know, this one, this one is uh, your uh, black box. You have two inputs and two outputs. One is input A, the other input is B, and we have sum and carrier. So when asked to describe using uh, Verilog HDL, the behavior of this using gate level. So what is the knowledge requ required? Knowledge of keywords that are there in Verilog HDL. Keywords knowledge is required. Without keywords knowledge, we cannot do that. So this keywords knowledge related to the gates and their syntax also, how to use it. That also we have to know. So gates, the keywords are like, uh, you know, whatever the uh, logic that we are going to implement, like and is there, nand is there, and uh, or is there, all these are the keywords that are available. So you have the XOR. So all keywords are there. So using these keywords, how to, uh, describe this uh, given any boolean expression means using this particular uh, you know these are called primitives these are called this keywords are called gate level primitives these are called gate level primitives so these are called gate level primitives gate level gate level primitives so you have this uh, primitive gate level primitive so this gate level primitives you have to use how to use that knowledge is required the syntax yesterday uh, i think you are remembering first output variable first comes output variable followed by that your input variables will be there here your input variables will be there you have to separate these input variables using the comma even the output, input variables, all these variables are separated using the comma. But the syntax is first output variable will come. That is the syntax. So these gates like and, all these gates, and, nand, or, nor, all these are multiple input gates and single output. There is a gate, not gate. This not gate will have multiple outputs but single input input is only single one input so you you can have output one output two output two like that multiple outputs are possible meaning it is it is like this it is uh you know this is uh, your not gate the symbol we are giving one input here Instead of taking one output here, we are taking multiple outputs like this, like this, all multiple outputs here. So what is the syntax? The keyword is not, the keyword used is not. And here, all output variables will come. Let's say you are calling it as a O1, O2, O3, like that. And you are calling, let us say this is in. So what you are going to write here, O1 comma, O2 comma, O3 comma, like that. 
and then you are going to put in. So this is called multiple output single input gate. Whereas your other gates, basic gates, AND gate, NAND gate, NAND gate, OR gate, XOR gate, all these will have multiple, multiple inputs will be there, single output will be there. Making sense to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So now let's say if I'm asking you people based on the yesterday's knowledge, now you design uh, MUX 2 by 1. MUX 2 by 1. Everyone should understand that eh? to design this MUX 2 by 1, to describe this MUX 2 by 1, using gate level modeling, gate level modeling, we require to know, first of all, the Boolean expression. So from now onwards, it should be striking to every participant here that any, not only MUX, in place of MUX, if anything is there, if it is asked to describe this one using gates, so one must know the Boolean expression itself then it is possible for them to go with this gates. So for example, here, if you look at this one here, so your MUX has got uh, this uh, two inputs, two inputs here, two, two by one, and one select line. <laughs> so here we have input A, input B, this is your select line, and this is your output Y. So when select line is zero, whatever the, value that is there on the in, uh, input port A, that will appear on the Y. That's why we write here like this. And when this select line is 1, whatever is there, the value on the input port B, that will appear on the output port Y. So now from this, one can write Boolean expression that Y equal to A S bar a yes bar plus b yes this is called the boolean expression this is called the boolean expression this boolean expression is for this max 2 by 1 okay so from this MUX 2 by 1 Boolean expression, now we know what gates are required. So if you see here, uh, if you look at this one here, so you have A dot B here. So meaning one AND gate is needed. And if you see this S bar here, you know that one NOT gate is needed. And if you see this R here, plus, this is plus means R. So one R gate is needed. And if you see this B dot S here, one AND gate is needed. That's how one can come to the conclusion with the help of Boolean expression. What gates are re required to implement the given Boolean expression. So now, according to the yesterday's discussion, so how do you do this one here? This is, you as been said just now, we need one AND gate. So you need one AND gate, okay. So we are calling this output here, this, this implementation of A, this implementation of A dot S bar. We are calling it as, let's say, W1. And the implementation of B dot S, we are calling it as a W2. So it means what here we can write W1, comma, A, comma, I need here S bar. So this S bar, how do I obtain? I told here, with the help of NOT gate. So let's put here one NOT gate here. You are using one NOT gate to get that S bar. So what is the syntax of this? Here first output variable will come. Let's call it as a yes bar. You can call by the way, by any name. So here is the input is yes. 
so that's how you call so now what you use this s bar is required to be used here s bar here so that is done so now what is required here this implementation is required b dot s so we need one more and gate and and we are calling the implementation of b dot s will be assigned to w2 so w2 here comma b comma s and the syntax is semicolon here put the semicolon so now you are ready with the w1 w2 so both are given to the one R gate. If you look at this one here, this plus because of this plus here. So what we do now, we take one R gate. This not is a keyword and is a keyword. Again, this R is a keyword. Syntax is open. We have to open the parenthesis. First, we have to put the out, output variable. So if you R this W1, W2, what you are going to get is Y. So Y variable will come here. And what goes as the input is W1 and W2. That's all. This is your logic to implement 2 by 1 or 2 is to 1 max using gate level. Making sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to write what you have to write test bench whether this is working according to our this functional table, truth table or not. So we have to write for this test bench. So I told yesterday where you write logic, that file is called a design file. So you write you are writing this here, the complete logic within the module and end module. So this is called a design file. So now you are going to create another file that is test bench file. Yesterday we have discussed. So what we have discussed, a test bench file will have what it what it is going to have test bench file. It is going to have module that you wanted to test. So we are calling it as a DUT design under a test module that you wanted to test. And you are going to have a logic where you are going to generate the inputs. So what inputs you are going to generate now, you are going to generate your A, you are going to generate B, you are going to generate your select line. And additional thing, what is required? Some mechanism to display in the console. So some mechanism to display in the console. So remember, a test bench will have these three things that the module that you wanted to test you will you will call here we instead saying we call it we have to use we instantiate we instantiate here we instantiate here and then we have to generate the stimuli here so you generate your stimuli here. Then you have to have some display mechanisms here. Some display mechanism. So yesterday we have seen. So since it is beginning for uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Srinivas and uh, Rafael uh, I suppose uh, she knows uh, this uh, Maitri uh, but for the sake of them we will do that exercise here today about that one max so listen carefully after this with the knowledge gained today that we are going to uh, you know uh, uh, you know do here uh, yesterday's knowledge and today's knowledge you will combine and you will develop whatever that i am going to give you the work now i will monitor remotely so I'm just keeping yesterday's work in this uh, HA folder. Today, Max, I'm going to write here. So to write this Max monitor here carefully, later I will give time to copy down this one. I'm going to create a file, one file, another file, 
two files. So this file I'm going to name it as a box two by one dot v and removing the dot txt extension. Save it. Now another file I go here and I will be naming it as a tb. Recommended name is tb underscore max two by one because tomorrow if you see the tb there are if the several tbs are existing and then you should easily pick up like this this is the tb test bench for max like that for that reason a recommended name is this now i select this both files right click there edit in notepad here now this first design file if you see uh, i think i can switch here so this is the design file and this is the test bench file. Both are empty now. So I start with the module. So, and then I give the name here module and then module name is required here, module name. So module name again recommended is whatever that you are designing, no? that only you give, do not do not give some, some irrelevant name you please don't give. So then we are supposed to be having N module. Here, primary, yesterday I uh, spoke about this. What I spoke ab about, I told that uh, if, if at all you are this one having primary inputs, this, these are primary inputs. You have A, you have B, you have your select, and you have your, uh, this one output. So then what I did, I listed here, listed here. And then I have done the type declaration here with the keyword input and with the keyword output, I have done the type declaration here. But this language also facilitates the other way of uh, doing. So today that other way of doing is this one. Inside port, a port uh, list itself, you can also carry type declaration. This input space A comma B. So, comma, you have to uh, write output keyword and then your output Y. So, we forgot here to put the select line here. So, select, select. So, now you can see the difference here. Yesterday, we have carried here, that is, uh, uh, we carried here uh, separately here. Uh, that is your uh, input, uh, this input, uh, uh, complete, by the way, this complete thing was here yesterday, and this complete thing was here yesterday. Only this port list was uh, here. But today, we are not going to have here anything. Everything we are going to place it inside the port list area itself. That is, that provision is also there in the language. So, that's how it is. Now what we do here is straight away we go to the logic. So I told here, remember this uh, we'll keep for our reference here, here. A, S bar plus uh, B, yes. That is from the functional table. Like you have input here, uh, your, uh, uh, you know, select line and uh, zero and one. Now you have output here. So you get here A, you get here B. Based on this, this Y is written like that. A, S bar, and uh, this is B, B, S. So that we are going to put it here, here. So if you put here, what you are going to put, and using gate level, W1, comma, comma, A, comma, S bar. So we need S yes bar, so we'll get that. Then what is required? One more AND gate is required. And then W2 comma B comma S. Yes. Then again, semicolon. Then finally, we need a R gate. So R gate output is Y. What you are going to give W1 comma W2. So semicolon. So this semicolon is a part of the syntax here, the semicolon, 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 here semicolon. These are the part of the syntax. 
putting parenthesis here is a also part of the syntax putting uh, parenthesis here is also a part of the syntax separating with a comma inside is a part of the syntax so remember all that uh, now here we uh, go for this uh, not gate and not, not gate syntax is again for every gate by the way output will be the first so that is yes bar here and then yes here so now I can remove this one here. So just remove that. So now your design is done. So what is required as said, you have to develop this test bench here. Test bench is also a very lock uh, code only. So it also starts with the module and end module. So we just uh, copy uh, and pasting it here. And here, this is not going to have any port list. So only the name is required. So recommended name is TB underscore max two by one. That is the recommended name. And it is not going to have any inputs. So I told yesterday that this input variables will become reg data type. And uh, this output will become the wire data type. And reason I told that reg has got the property of storage. It will store whatever you assign over a period of simulation time, whereas wire will not have the storage property. Since we are going to give inputs here, uh, you know, over the period, so this must be storing. Corresponding to that, what you have stored, it must be able to apply to this DUD. So that is here you are instantiating. I, I told that you should be calling the name instantiation and some name you are giving, you can give even DUT here by the way. And here you don't require to put input, you don't require to put here output here. You don't require to put that. So now what you are going to do here is you are going to uh, write your inputs how you develop here so for development of inputs i told you will be using this initial initial and then if multiple statements are there i told that you have to use the begin and you have to use the end for that begin so here you are going to write one statement which helps us to display the things so that is dollar monitor dollar monitor inside that you are going to create double quotes and this is for our reference that is at the rate time is for our reference this is not a keyword uh, this is nothing there this is for our reference and then percentage g is a format specifier for time display ns is again for our reference that it is one nanoseconds two nanoseconds like that and then what is that i wanted to display so that is a and the format in binary. So that is percentage B. I also wanted to display my B value and again in binary. I also wanted to display my select and that is again in binary. I also wanted to display my Y that is again in binary format. So I have done all that uh, that is required here. So I'll do one thing here, this, and this one here. So now you have this dollar monitor here. You can put here, uh, you know, comma also. This is for our display, uh, for our purpose, for display uh, in, in the console. So you can separate like this also with the help of comma like this. But corresponding to this percentage B, for this percentage B, for this percentage B, for this percentage B, we require to instruct the compiler. These are the variables. And corresponding to this percentage G also we have to tell. So that is uh, done using dollar time. Dollar time is a system function which returns the simulation time. So this corresponds to this percentage G. So then comes a comma b comma select comma and then y you can put here inside uh, uh, this also okay 
but here it is compulsorily select but here you can put anything here for this intended what we are intending is this variable should be corresponding to this one here it is very important whatever you have used variable that name must be used here am i making sense yes, yes sir oh so this is for understand that this is for displaying displaying uh, onto the console so now we we'll start writing the inputs we are going to generate the inputs for a b yes select so what i am going to do here is i am going to put a value 0 and b value 1 and I am initially going to put uh, this S as a uh, zero. Let's put S as zero. Now, after some time delay, that is hash, maybe fine, anything, any time delay. What is that I wanted to do here is, I just wanted to put S as one. And again, after hash Y, what I wanted to do S as again, zero. So like that. So in this scenario, what I am doing, I am just fixing this my values. Each time I am changing my my select line. So A is tied to zero, B is tied to one, but I am playing with the selected. One time select is zero, the other time select is one, the other time select is zero, like that. So this one, you also can change this to one. This also you can change to zero. Again, you can play with this also. So that is how it is. Like it depends on our, uh, you know, the designer must be knowing like what I supposed to give. So that way, uh, you know, you can verify the things here. So what I will do is, uh, since I gave this S0 here, S1 here, yes 0 here, uh, then I'll copy this entire thing here, copy, and after delay of again 5, I will paste it here. This time I will make this 1 and this 0. So, having given all this like this, now what I wanted to do is, after hash 5, I just wanted to stop my simulation. So that is dollar stop. That is system task. So what it does is it stops the simulation. And then this is you have the end here for this begin. For this begin you have the end. Uh, and this end module is of this module. This end module is required. So everything is fine, but this hash five we have to associate with some time unit. If we don't associate with some some time unit, by default compiler whatever the time unit is set to compiler that will be uh, displayed in that time unit. But I wanted to display in nanoseconds, so I am going with that. And the, if any precision, I wanted to use that. You know, yesterday as I said, uh, that is a precision here. So this part is a precision part, this part. So you can write that one as a 0 0.001. This is the point here, decimal point, nanoseconds. So on the scale of nanoseconds, you have this precision. So any time that you are using here, if it has got after this integer value, some decimal values too, in that in case, it after decimal point, it will be wrapping to three digits. That's what the precision is here. This precision is here. So that's how the precision is. But remember one thing all the time that uh, this time unit. So time unit all the time is greater than time precision. You cannot have the other way around. That is this time unit is less than time precision. If you keep here, then... Uh, compiler will give error okay so that's how it is this is the backboard that you are using uh, so remember this is the backboard which is there on your keyboard left hand side there is a tab key 
just above the tab key, there are two things. One is this tilde is there and there is a backboard like this. That one you have to use. So this is the test bench. You, you are attending these classes. You should be in a position to write this test benches because forthcoming classes, you will be examined for this. So I will not be writing the test bench. You will be examined for this. Sir. Huh. Sir, below that uh, monitor line, you wrote x is equal to zero. Below Could the you right select below dollar the, monitor. Uh -huh, below this dollar. S is zero. S is zero. Uh -huh, yes, is zero. Should, should be right select or only S. Uh -huh, that is uh, select. That must be select. So is okay. there a way to uh, yeah, substitute that one? Uh, find and substitute, find and replace. So you have to find, uh, yes, but the problem is wherever S is there, it may replace with the select. That is also we have to take care. So, but there must be like match case, match case, and a match only that word also will be there like that. So, Replace with that, replace all. Let's see what happens. So, but I I fear here this G N S is there. So that may be like C N S is affected here. So that is another issue that we have. Uh, okay. So the pro said yeah. Okay. I guess we can change that select to S1. Uh -huh. Select I am going to put here as the S1. So now you are supposed to put here then S here. So see, uh, with this one learning is this one. What is that learning is? Here in, in, in test bench, these variables can be different. But they must correspond to, uh, in the design file, to those variables. So what I mean is, in the test bench, you have kept here this uh, yes, this yes you have kept. So that yes must be matching. This yes must be taking the position of the select only. So this yes must be taking the position of select only. So you, if you put here B, if you write here B, and if you put yes here, then yes is actually tied with, yes is tied with, with B here. Okay. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. So that's how it is. So I will continue with ABS in test bench. ABS, uh, it's making sense to you uh, that these variables can be different but they must be in a position where, you know, to which variable of this design file that we want to tie with. So in that position, they must be. So there is other way around, like they can be like altered in any way you can write in subsequent classes that we will see. But for learning stage, let's go with this positional mapping. This we call it as a positional mapping. Here that what we are following is called, that is a positional mapping of the ports. This is called positional mapping of the ports. There is a another thing also. So that other thing is named mapping. So we have something called named mapping that we'll see in subsequent classes, not now. So, but today is a positional mapping. Understand that you have, you can use here, all this can be different like uh, a, T, B, I will use uh, for better understanding, uh, but uh, throughout I have to change this. Okay, no problem, uh, we will change. T, B underscore A, uh, this is uh, T, B underscore uh, uh, B, and this is T, B underscore S, yes, and this is uh, T, B underscore Y. So now here you cannot go with A, B, uh, all that uh, Y, so whatever interest bench, those variables are there, you're supposed to be using them here, like this, like this, like this. They can be different, but the position that we are intending that the test bench A must be tied with the A of this design file, 
test bench b must be tied with the b of this design file test bench uh, yes must be tied with this uh, your design file select and like that so that care must be taken that is called positional map mapping that's what we are doing here positional mapping and inside here they still can be a b uh, select and y but here they cannot be like this they must be tb underscore a this must be tb underscore b this must be tb underscore uh, yes and this must be tb underscore y inside it can be this a b select and y no problem but here again this cannot be like uh, this tb and this is your uh, tb and this is your uh, tb underscore yes and this tb underscore yes is what you are using uh, here here and uh, here and uh, here and uh, here so and then this uh, a here this is this a so that is tb underscore a and that is tb underscore b and this is tb underscore yes so this is uh, you know uh, re for readability purpose uh, like you can put like this here uh, this is uh, uh, you know where a and b values mean uh been uh been 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 uh, switch dot uh, changed so this from here we have changed the a and b values but uh select line uh play we are playing with the select line here so that's how it is so i've done this one uh any other doubt uh, anyone having so control s yes, uh, we if you do we are going to uh, save that file uh, so that's all here if any doubts you can ask uh, yes so i think that uh, the first file huh? max 2 by 1 dot v sir we did not define w1 w2 sir uh, this said uh, yeah that uh, that is uh, that is because i will tell that is because uh, if any undeclared variables are there if any undeclared variables are there like uh, here w1 w2 and here s bar they are treated as a uh, scalar scalar variables variables and they belong to uh, they belong to wire data type. They belong to wire data type. If they are vector variables, if they are vector variables, then we have to mention the wire size. Wire size. What I mean is, if this W1 is a vector type, is, a, is of a vector type, is of vector type, meaning more than greater than one bit maybe two bits maybe three bits maybe four bits in that case we have to mention explicitly we have to write here like a wire wire and the vector declaration is done here like let's say it's a three bit so two colon zero and this w one so like that we have to write otherwise this is treated as a scalar variable. So scalar variables are not reported as error. They are they are not errors. They are considered by, um, by the taken care by the compiler. They are taken care by the compiler. Meaning, as if you have written wire yes bar, and then you have written w one and then you have written wt so your compiler what it does is 
it may give warning like yes bar w1 w2 not uh, some compilers will not give even the warning also they will not uh, give because they don't consider it as an error some compilers take care by just giving the warning but no compiler will give the error just because we did not declare them they are treated as a they are treated as a scalar scalar variables they are treated as a scalar variables so for that reason if you do not uh, declare them here i mean here you are using them but not declaring them here this is called declaration so but it is not going to give the error for that reason we did not you know uh, declare them so that is the answer okay so here also select here in that file also select error was there no uh -huh. i am not getting in defining you wrote select sir in mux 2 by 1 file mm. ah here i wrote select so uh, select you wrote it as s sir uh -huh. so let us change this uh, abs okay so this is this wherever s is there actually that is select okay control s yes. So this is now corrected. This is also corrected here like that. And you also got to know that not required that whatever the variables that we are using here, them only we have to use here for reg corresponding to reg corresponding to wire. You can use anything, but the care needs to be taken like you are passing in positional mapping, like what you intend this variable to be tied with in the design file, that care needs to be taken. That's how it is. That is called the mapping. So that also the new thing that we are understanding today. And then that's how the test bench is developed. So now uh, everything is set right here. Now you can go here. Uh, so what we can do here is just right click, open in terminal. Now what you can do is we lib, that is, creating the work folder. So work, work folder, press enter. So it, what it will do is it will create a work folder here, the way it is seen here. Now we have to compile these files. We log all the weight log files that are there, their names we have to write like this. So you, what you can do is instead of typing them, you just uh, press first, uh, yeah, letter of that, press the tab key, auto, auto fill will happen. So like that. So press enter. So if no errors, it will give like this, error zero, warning zero. Then you have to use that uh, vsim hyphen c and this tb underscore max, this one, this name, you have to type here. So this name, right click, it will be copied and right click, it will be pasted here like this. And then press enter. So you will come to this one here like this. Now you can run to up to 100, let's say nanoseconds. Press enter. So now you can see here values displayed here. When select line is zero, you can see here uh this is having laser also i guess okay so here when select is zero here whatever the value that is there on the a that is seen here on the y when select is one when select is 1, whatever the value that is there on the B, that is seen here. When select is 0, again, whatever the value that is there on the A, that is seen here. Same again the explanation, but this time we have changed this A to 1. When select is 0, A value is now 1. So that 1 is seen here. When select is 1, we have changed the value of B. So that B value is 0. So that is appearing here on the output 0. 
when select is zero again a value that is one that will be seen on the output here so that's how the simulation is so and one simulation is done to come out of that you simply type here exit so you are back here so that's how you do the simulation and you write test range so uh, now i wanted to check your uh, screens so i just uh, pause this recording